The name of this story is, it came back to the cornfield. Well, it was that time once again to cut and harvest the corn. Y'all, I'm going to tell you again. I don't look forward to it, but it's my job and it creeps me out every year. And we are miles and miles deep in the thick ass woods with the cell signal jumping here and there. And in most of the field on the edge of the woods, there would be this dark shadow lurking and looking at us. But we couldn't see this thing clearly because it kept in the shadows thick of the woods, never once making a sound, just staring in the distance. And it would leave one field just to go peep in the other one. And we stayed in, on our machines and kept our trucks close. From what we could make out, we could never get a good look at this creature. But the height was massive. It was nine feet tall with reddish glowing eyes. And these woods were really, really thick and miles and miles from the main road. We were all, we all was armed with something that was sure to hit and hurt. We were to keep it on us at all times and to keep check on each other because we knew we were being stalked from field to field. We could feel the eyes on us as we nervously worked cutting the corn. When noon came, we all went to the camping trailer. It was a real nice size one. We had brought it out here for our breaks and lunches and not to be out in the open because we knew we were still being followed. When the machine was off, we could hear heavy footsteps just a short distance away. And as we were sitting there talking about our day and that we know we were being stalked by something and not someone because this thing was too big to be a human. It seemed to have hair or fur on what little we did see. Then out of nowhere was a loud howl mixed with growling. And this was not very far from the trailer. And then we heard crunch, 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 coming toward the trailer. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Then there was another high-pitched howl. And this time we could feel the vibration of this howl. And it was right behind the trailer. We looked out the windows. There outside was this massive creature, nine feet tall, with features of a huge ass wolf that nearly towered over the trailer. It stood there, sniffing the air around the trailer. We got out our guns because we really didn't know what the hell we were looking at. When then, we noticed a horrible smell that wasn't there before. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Then it sniffed at the trailer once more. Suddenly, there was another hound. But this one was far off in the woods. Then this creature turned to where the where the other hound came from. Then it rapidly tore through the woods toward the other hound. And we could hear it as it sounded like it was taking down anything that was in its way. And these sounds lasted for some time. Then it was gone. Man, what the hell was that? And why do we come back every year? We didn't know. And we didn't see it anymore while we finished those fields. But we decided not to play here anymore. Thank you.